talk to us about um, your song, if, if, if Fun Bring Home, and how, um, what, what kind of state of mind were you in when you, when you made it? It was crazy because it's like, um, I had told people I have a project coming, I've been working on it, I want to put it out this year, whatnot, and we, we didn't have a single. So we didn't have a single and like we're trying to get the project ready and like dealing with industry politics overall, trying to like um, get a distribution, get this, how are we going to get in these spaces, whatnot. And we, upon realizing we need to do all these things, we learned certain information that, yo, we got to go through this and this and that. So we realized it's actually messed up and it's, it's not easy for you to actually move in these spaces. So while we're chilling designing for like the album, we just like worked on a beat real fast and I did freestyle a couple raps to the song and we put it on the internet same time, Twitter, IG, and it actually took off. From then on, J. Jody picked it up and was like, yo, yo, because he was always nice, reaching out, whatnot. J. Jody, I love him. He was like, yo, this is dope. Can I get a verse on this? Because I like what you're talking about. Because like industry frustrations also got me, all of this. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. And, <laughs> and we had a talk. After he said the verse, everything, and got the song done, we had a talk about how, yeah, that's exact. Everyone knows this. Everyone's trying to portray an image in the industry like, yo, we successful, whatnot, when that's not the case. The whole song is basically to summarize that I wish more people were transparent with their wins mm -hmm. and their losses. Because right now, you're all faking. Yeah. Shit. So was there anybody in particular, specifically, that you saw, that you were like, hmm? That's, that's, that's the problem. It's not one person in particular. It's too many people that aren't living how they say, that aren't doing as they claim. It's not, I understand we're in the industry where I got to sell an image to you, but at least that picture got to be real. It's too many of them. What, okay, then what's your opinion of the South African hip hop industry or like kind of like where we're at as SA hip hop, um, especially now in 2022, especially in the age of Amar Piano mm. and the rise of Afrotech? What is Tyson's opinion about the industry? My thing is, you can do whatever you love when you're in the spaces, right? As long as like you're young and you're getting money or you're trying to provide with this, do whatever. I love that. But I'll never shy away from SA Hip Hop because SA Hip Hop is actually in a good space. If you're tapped in, you know that the quality is on a level it's never been before. But uh, a couple of the people who aren't like, at, weren't as invested in the culture, they were invested in it when it was popular. They, those ones have left us, of course, but like people who care and care about what the, the youth is doing, what the next man is doing, what the space is looking like, they know that no, something big is coming. They just, these dudes just need a platform and tides will change. There's always pop culture. Okay, so, so what do you think is the, the difference with SA Hip Hop now in 2022? What are you doing differently in the space as the person that's on the ground? Right now, the space is different to before because back then it was just a bunch of big egos, everyone trying to think of themselves, uh, uh, me, I'm the best. Yeah, yeah. Right now, all of us know each other. All of us work with each other. We're all cool. All the youth dudes, we're cool. We, I'm getting over here, but, but, yo, I'm having a show. Yo, bro, please come. Yo, I'm doing this. I'll show up for you. I'll do it. You having your music vid? I'm there. We all support each other. Yeah. But like, and I, it's funny to me when they say like, oh, the piano dudes all support each other, that's why they're up. We also support each other. It's just, <laughs> it's politics, it's <laughs> politics. You're not as invested, but we do support each other and we all actually love each other. We show up, all of that. I was actually about to mention that, you know, the fact that, you know, a lot of people have the opinion that SA Hip Hop hadn't been doing well when piano was doing well because hip hop cats, with their egos, with whatever it is that they have going on, mm. don't really collaborate a lot, don't really support each other, don't mm. really put each other on. Mm. Whereas Piano, on the other hand, is completely different where it's open, anybody can do anything and they get love. Mm. And it's, it's crazy because like if you're actually paying attention, it's the same names on the same albums in hip hop too because we all rock with each other, yeah. some of us. But we all rock with each other in general. Like it's love, it's nothing but love.